Hi friends, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Happy Thursday. How is everyone today? So, yes, if you saw by the title of the video, someone is leaving the nursery soon. And we also have a baby coming in. So, to those of you new, hello and welcome. I am Tasha and this is my Reborn Doll channel uh, where I share the journey of my collecting um, these beautiful works of art. So I have, who do I have? Aubrey. <laughs> uh, yes, Aubrey definitely wanted to come on and say hello. She's a little bit shy for the camera. Aubrey is um, the Liam Sculpt by Bonnie Brown, um, and she is a girl version, very, very amazingly done. Um, just, oof, geez. And uh, she's still wearing her little fishy outfit from Auntie Renee, uh, and we have the ruffle butt. Y'all didn't get to see the ruffle tushy. Uh, the ruffles are so cute. This is such a fun, fun outfit, especially for a toddler. You know, toddlers, I, I mean, just so much, so much fun. So I know that many of you will be not so happy to hear, so I am pretty much dedicating a video to talking about it. Um, it is, in fact, Aubrey that will be leaving the nursery very soon. Um, oh, guys, my heart, my heart. I will explain why. I'm going to sit down and I will explain why. Um, the great news is that Aubrey um, is, will be staying in the community. Um, she will not be on YouTube, I don't think, um, but she will be, her, her new mommy is very active on Instagram and I will of course have to double check with her new mommy that once she goes home, I can share. Um, and her new mommy is definitely um, a watcher and a commenter here on on YouTube. So I think it'll be somebody um, familiar and just I, I couldn't be happier about where she's going. Um, um, it's going to be a very, very, very bittersweet goodbye for this little girl and me um, because uh, let me sit down. Let me let me get myself situated. I wanted to see have you all see me um, holding her and see that tushy and we're going to sit down and we're going to have a chat. I don't want to turn the camera off because, well, yeah, I'm being that lazy. I don't have to edit today. <laughs> um, so, we're going to turn your hand. Let's see how if whoop, how much of a view we're going to get here. And I know we have our focus thing and everything. So just give me just a moment, ladies, to, uh, to get, get Aubrey and I in frame here. There we go. All right. Okay. Little munchkin. Okay. So why is Aubrey leaving the nursery? Well... I love Aubrey. Aubrey is absolutely hands down. She's just amazing. Um, the, her, the art on her is just wow, wow, wow. Her, the uniqueness of just the way that the artist did her and that she's so you know, for this skull, look at her face. She's such a girl, you know, just, oh, there are so many very unique features about Aubrey. Um, she is on a custom body uh, by the artist. Um, so, you know, she's, she holds so very well. She poses so very well. She's a little bit taller than mostly, or she's a little bit taller than Liam's that are on the, 
the like suggested body for for the Liam uh, so definitely uh, different there she has uh, rooted human hair um, from a baby's first haircut which you all know it's just beautiful red hair natural you know natural red um, and I love the rooting the you know like the the, the soft baby hairs uh, in the front hairline just oh my goodness, my goodness, little girl. Um, and then she has that beautiful uh, tummy plate. It's a whole tummy and chest plate, gender neutral. But that's just so fabulous for photos and, and video. I mean, just lots of stuff. And she's just painted so... I, I, I just... I can't say enough wonderful things about this, uh, this baby. <sighs> so... Why am I letting her go is your question. Well, um, it has been a great, great joy and pleasure uh, have, bringing a toddler in and having a toddler in my collection. And it's a whole different world of the pretend that goes on in your head. And I'm, I'm going to get into that in a minute. But unfortunately, I did not really think ahead. Um, and I'm glad I didn't because I'm glad that Aubrey was with me for the time that she was. Um, but I didn't think ahead space-wise or time-wise with this baby. I do not have a big house. Uh, I am overflowing with babies all over the place here. And because I run my own business and I breed the sugar gliders, they're small exotic pets, they're in the marsupial family. It's, and you know, we we breed to have, give, you know, hand teamed home raised, you know, joeys. So they're in our living room. Our living room is packed out. It's uncomfortable. It's a little bit unfair to the kids. It's very hard for the kids to have friends over. You walk into the living room, that's it. It's, you know, but it's, it makes our way and, you know, it provides us with something, uh, you know, so it is, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, kids have their own bedrooms. We have a bedroom. It's not that big. My bed is here. We got a computer desk and chair stuffed in here because there's no room for a computer desk in a living room. There's no room in my kitchen for even a table that we could all sit down at, no less a computer or anything else. So, you know, like I said, talk, you know, it's not that big of a house. So, you know, we're crammed in here. So I can't even take the babies off the bed and put them down somewhere to sleep at night. <laughs> Like, so, you know, I, I made arrangements and I, I cleaned out my hope chest, which my feet are on, um, so that I could rotate babies so that I could have a little bit larger of, of a collection and keep babies stored in there. And it's nice. It's air sealed. It keeps them. It's nice. It's, it's good. It works. I can't fit a toddler in and out of there. I, I mean, I could if I just had a toddler, but, you know, not with all the babies. So, um, space-wise, you know, and like what, you know, my son goes to get in the bed and he's like squished up against a doll. Like, it's just that, it's just unfair to my family as far as space. I also feel like, you know, I have teenagers and a 10-year-old son, if they do have friends over, you know, it's one thing to have a reborn like in a basket or a Moses basket, but it's a whole other world having a toddler, you know, sitting there in their face, you know, so to put out in the living room. And I have sugar gliders in there. It's it's just not, doesn't unfortunately work for space. Plus, it takes a lot more time to change a toddler, do the hair, prepare a toddler, um, and make videos and even pictures. It's a whole nother world with pictures because, you know, to get a shot of a toddler, you can see everything in the background. So you can't just plop the baby in the middle of whatever and put a blanket and everything looks neat. You're having to look for a whole area to do a shoot like you would a toddler, <laughs> you know, a child. It's, 
you know, and for posting the way it's just, it's, it's not working in many ways. And if I had a spare room or, you know, and that I could make as a nursery or just a spare room to put babies, I, you know, there would be, I would be so thrilled to keep her and have her. I would put, you know, a little rocking chair or a horse in the corner to prop her on. And be able to enjoy looking at her when I wasn't playing, you know, interacting with her, or doing something with her. How nice would that be? I don't have any place when I put her down to be able to enjoy her when I'm not holding her, when I'm not changing her. And of course, you know, I have four kids in a busy life, you know, probably the most interacting that I do with my babies is on camera taking photos and I do sit at night and hold them and stuff but that's you know I it's so what am I what am I doing I like to walk past and see a baby in a Moses basket it, the Twinkies have a little basket there on the end of my husband's nightstand you know it's um so if I had a place I it would be a no-brainer so Aubrey is not leaving because I didn't bond to her or because there's something that I don't like about the art or anything of that nature. This is going to be a tough one, guys, because letting the baby go. And, you know, of course, I had to financially, you know, factor things in. And, you know, this summer kind of hit my daughter graduated. You know, you know things when things come up. I, and then uh, Noelle's Sweet 16 is July, this month coming up. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, August is Destiny's Sweet 16. <laughs> July is Noelle's 18th. And then she's starting college in September. All the kids back to school, closed, then it rolls into Christmas. Got to think about these things that, you know, I maybe went a little overboard. So, of course, it would make sense to let a baby go that I'm struggling with space and everything for. You know, um, I, I I have other babies. Well, Sunny should, will be going home, um, I believe, July. Uh, Charlie will be going home uh, July. Um, I have babies, you know, other babies, <clears throat> you know, as well that are leaving. So, um... That's the scoop, and, you know, I've been very honest with you all about, you know, tight, the house is tight, small, you know, the business, all that. Um, that is the scoop. So, but, you know, how I'm feeling. Now, I was thrilled because I did not list Aubrey. You know, a friend saw, you know, a few videos ago when I mentioned about maybe having to make some changes and the space. And, you know, she just just adores Aubrey. So she messaged and said, you know, if you decide you're gonna let her go, you know, please, please let me know. So this is somebody that really, you know, that didn't just come across a post and say, oh, maybe that baby, this is someone that truly you know where it's gonna be where she belongs it's it's her next stop in her journey and you know it's gonna be where where she belongs it's gonna again it's it's hard for me to say goodbye and I just I have so much fun holding her my favorite thing is like when I was standing for you for you guys um you know in the video and um just pull this down for you you know, the way, I don't know if you saw the way her feet, you know, dangle down. I and mean, she's just, um, again, she's just so precious. And she's just, the way she, her head sits, like she just has this shy look. And of course, you could prop her up to sit and look up, you know, straight and everything. But when she naturally sits, she leans her head in and... So let me tell you about having a toddler and whoop, whoop, let's do some magic. There we go. <laughs> uh, so it, 
from day one, even preparing for her to come, the way that I was like, oh, I need a sippy cup, I need this, I need that, you know, like, you have a toddler coming. In your mind, when you pretend that you're, the babies are real, say the reborns, and you're role-playing, call it whatever you want, you're imagining. <laughs> so imagining, and she just looks so real. It's like I'm having a child here. I feel like, oh my gosh, I have to tell her all about where she's going. And I, when I pack her, will she have what she needs in the box? Like, your mindset is that way. Um, it's totally different than the babies where, okay, well, a baby, as long as they're being loved and cared for, psychologically, they're not going to know. And you think like a toddler, oh my goodness, they're going to know like, oh my goodness. Oh, of course, of course, it's a doll. I understand. It, you know, I'm not nuts, but going back to that little girl in imagination and what we do and part of the joy of collecting the reborns is making a character in our heads and you know just that's the way it is so it feels um it's I, again the experience has been just phenomenal and you know i don't see our living situation changing anytime in the near future but somewhere down the road, if it does, um, you know, uh, and her new mommy for, and something changed in their situation, I would take her back, you know, if I ever had the space for and time for a toddler again. This is the toddler that I want. If I could just shrink her down and pack her away and put her on a shelf for a couple years until I <laughs> I would so do it. Can mommy get a shrinking machine? <laughs> Can I get a shrinking machine for you? <laughs> I really like that's how I feel. So yeah, it's going to be hard. And I know all of you are saying, oh, and I know many of you love to see Aubrey, even though you haven't even really got to know her or see much of her. Because again, it's it's time consuming, you know, doing things with a tot. It's just different. It's just different. Um, so I'm feeling it here. Uh, but again, um, her, her new mommy is just, when I tell you, um, you know, I have a lot in common with her. I really connect with her. Um, you know, if, if she, uh, you know, doesn't mind after Aubrey, it, you know, is safe at home that I share where Aubrey went so everyone can follow her journey. You all will see what I'm talking about. Um, you know, who it is and why I feel that way. Um, it, it's, you know, that, oh, thank God, thank God, makes me feel just, you know, it's bearable because I don't know. I, gosh, I, it, oh, it would be a nightmare if I had to send her off to somebody that I just, like, didn't know that just bought her off an ad. I, you know... I mean, I have to do what I have to do for my children, for my family, for, for what's right. And it's, again, it's not a matter of, oh, I could move some things around. She, you know, she's here. It's just not working. <laughs> it's just not working. And it's infringing on my, my living children. I can't, you know, so I have to. I have to make a, you know, I had to make a tough decision. Anyways, um, but I will be talking about the joy and I, and I, I don't regret, um, I don't regret, you know, you all know I don't like, um, I don't like having to sell. I'm just not, not there. I, you know, I, I do that with my own business. So I come here with my hobby. It's like the last thing that I want to do. Um, you know, you always take a little bit of a loss, usually, the, you know, it's no fun having to sell. 
Um, so, but, and most of the time, if I have to sell, I'll say, I wish that I didn't buy that baby in the first place. I wish that I just let the, you know, other person, you know, buy it in the, in the beginning. Um, you know, certain babies, you know, I could think of at least one baby that I know got to a friend that maybe that wouldn't have happened if I didn't take the baby first. So, you know, a certain circumstance, but for the most part, I don't like having to advertise and all the inquiries and all the, it's, it's stressful and then packing and shipping and I'm, it's, it's a lot. Anyway, um, it is, has been my great pleasure to have Aubrey as a reborn collector and reborn mommy. It has been my great pleasure to have this little girl with me for the short time that I've had her and I would not change that I would not say oh I wish I didn't buy her in the first place I, I can't say that I definitely can't say that I am so grateful that I have been blessed with this experience I'm so grateful for Aubrey uh, to and to see the beauty in her art and you really have to see her in person and possibly be a collector and have seen enough of the art to appreciate that there are certain things that this artist, you know, achieved that that's special, that's unique, that you just don't, you know, you just don't see every day. And I, I know this, I know she's special. You know, I know she's special. So she's going to another very special uh, mommy that's pretty, just going to be just like me. So we know Aubrey will do just fine. And my, again, my heart will be okay because I, I feel um, that the experience has been um, such a great joy and not not a burden of buying and selling um you know you know what i'm saying i'm sure you all know what i'm saying well comment below let me know have you ever let go of a baby that really tugged at your heartstrings to do so um that you you know had to let go of whether it be financial reasons space reason whatever the reason may be um, you can let me know in uh, the comments below. Um, as I said, I just, I do, uh, you know, um, wish that I had a magical shrinking machine that I could just shrink her up, you know, like you shrink the clothes and that vacuum, I think, <laughs> and put her up in the closet until a few years from now when I've you know, have some room or maybe my kids are grown and I have one of their rooms, something. Um, because I, you know, I looked far and wide for a long time for the right toddler and, you know, not many of them strike me like they're beautiful and I love looking at them and I'm not, I don't look at everybody's toddlers and say, oh, I don't like them and they're ugly or anything like that. I love watching. But for me, my, my taste and what I wanted and for, and the realism and the uniqueness you know, it was a long time. I'm hard pressed to think I will ever, ever find a baby, a, you know, a toddler like this again. And, and, and the body, the way her body feels, like I have my hands around her now, it's like, it's like I feel a real child, you know? It, I, it's like I can just envision ribs under there and, and a back. I, I can't explain it. I, I, it's hard to explain, but feeling her and handling her, you know, not just looking at her, but feeling her and handling her, um, it's really, really, um, it's really unique. So anyways, and no, I haven't had another toddler, but I've seen, and I've had lots of toddler mommies talking to me about the body and how do you get her to hold like that and sit like that and you know I I don't know because I didn't have direct contact with the artist and this the artist is 
very low low key so i'm not going to be able to you know get, um I, you know maybe if i look up i don't think it was like a handmade body you know it had to be something ordered i'm guessing but anyway it's really irrelevant it's what makes aubrey special so there's no reason to pass that all around anyway because sometimes that's just the way it needs to be and Aubrey's gonna stay very, very special. Very, very special Liam, right? For her new mommy. So, um, please wish Aubrey uh, safe travels. Um, I do, I, she's not going home until next week, probably Monday. I think, uh, you know, her new mommy and I are gonna wrap things up over the weekend and she will be leaving next week. However, um, I have some exciting news, which the baby that has been it's going on, this, it's six weeks now that I've been waiting for the work in progress almost done. You all know, if you've been with my channel, you, you know the baby that I'm talking about. Woof! D! And you want to talk about the baby, the rooting was finished. And now since Sunday, all the hoopla and the waiting and the just for photos or whatever the artist was doing. Like, ay, ay, ay. And then... Uh, finally, you know, I, you know, she, her personal, whatever, couldn't ship till tomorrow. So supposedly, baby, I hope so. I did. I paid for overnight shipping. Um, so I would, you know, hope because I, you know, specifically pay for overnight shipping so that I did not have to wait the weekend because again, I've waited now six weeks here for what I thought was just a quick you know week or so she's just gonna root the baby I had no idea she had a pile of customs and whatever she had no clue whatsoever ah uh, but the baby is beautiful and very 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 special um so I am really excited and going to be very much looking forward to introducing you all and having a box opening um for this new baby coming in so we have all that going on so it's likely that i will not be bringing aubrey back on um it's going to be emotional for me to pack her up and uh this is my first time packing and shipping a toddler so i need my head in the game so i won't be like filming you know box packing or anything like that so this is all your chance to uh, say goodbye to Aubrey and wish her safe travels to her new mommy next week. I will let you all know that she arrived safely. And if it's okay with her new mommy, I will share her Instagram account so you can follow Aubrey's journey because it doesn't end here. Aubrey's going to go on to have a brand new journey. Lots and lots of fun. And um, I'm all the better for it uh, that she's been with me. And I've really, really enjoyed my time, um, you know, having a toddler in my, my collection, most especially this one. <laughs> so she will be missed. You, you all are not the only ones that will miss, miss this little girl. I will miss her. I will miss her dearly. I really will. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way out. If you're not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video and get invites to my lives. And hey, you never know when I may go live. So you don't want to miss it, right? Okay, stay tuned till next time, everyone. Say bye. Say bye. <gasps> Hi everyone. Thank you so much for loving me here. Mwah. Please follow my journey. All right, everyone. God bless.